But not everyone is willing to trust assurances about one of the most politically sensitive issues. Correspondent Shannon Bream explains. There are no federal funds being used to pay for abortions, and that's made very clear in the bill. But not everyone is convinced. According to the pro-life organization Americans United for Life, lawmakers in 25 states are now considering legislation aimed at opting out of requirements within the new health care reform law that they believe could leave a loophole for federal tax dollars to be used to fund abortions. Some had already prepared for the fight. It was one of those that we were concerned about. We saw the language. We got it teed up, ready to go. And then the day after they had the, uh, the vote in Washington, we passed it through committee and put it out on the Senate floor. But skeptics on the pro choice side of the debate, including Planned Parenthood, say the state legislation is unnecessary and that it's being pushed for purely political purposes. There are a number of places in the bill that very firmly state that there are no federal funds to be used for abortion. It firmly states that in the legislation. It was followed up by an executive order from the president that reaffirms that. Enough to reassure pro-life Democratic Congressman Bart Stupak, but not pro-life advocates. This was the biggest expansion of abortion since Roe v. Wade, and of course Planned Parenthood is coming back with their spin. But the truth is, everyone knew that the executive order was just a fig leaf that was meant to cover up um, the fact that they were going to pass this huge expansion of abortion funding. As part of the overall health care reform debate, many political analysts believe abortion funding is an issue that could impact the fall elections to the benefit of pro-life candidates. Uh, but when you ask people, Americans generally, should the public pay for abortion, should others pay for abortion, typically about 70% of them say no. And that means that in most constituencies, whether it's congressional, district, state, legislative seats, uh, voters are going to be uh, in favor of laws that ban abortion coverage in, in insurance policy. Five states already prohibit abortion coverage in private insurance plans and 12 ban abortion coverage in plans for public employees. Now this new legislation that some states are considering would extend those bans to the insurance exchanges that states must now create under the new federal health care law. Brett. Okay, Shannon, thank you. Another possible result of